CBI officials meets Mumbai top cop in regards to underworld down shooter Rajan cases. And Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadanvi says investment is required in agriculture sector for sustainable farming. Thank you, Rukma. Good evening and welcome to MetroScan from Mumbai. And now let's the news in detail. The CBI officials today arrived at city police headquarters to meet Police Commissioner Emma Javed a day after Maharashtra government decided to hand over all cases against underworld Don Chuta Rajan to the central agency. According to sources, CB officials are also likely to meet their senior counterparts from police to discuss the nitty-gritty concerning the documents of cases and other material related to the Don, which are in possession of the local police. A police official said that city police will hand over all the concerned documents, materials, evidences gathered against Rajan in all the cases to the CBI. For the crime branch official said that the city police will have no role in investigation. Chuta Rajan as a state government has transferred all the cases against him to CBI. However, local police have to assist CBI if the agency asks them. In an integrating development ahead of Rajan's return last night, the state government announced that all the cases against Rajan, who was deported from Indonesia, were being transferred to CBI because of its expertise in handling transnational crimes. And Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Fadanvi today said that for sustainable farming, there is a need to attract investment in the agriculture sector. Fadanvi inaugurated a three-day agro exhibition organized by the Krishi Vigyan Kendra at Baramati. Chief Minister also said that government would install 1,059 automated weather stations at various locations across the state. In a view of the uncertain rainfall in the region, farmers have to face a lot of problems. So to reduce the risk, these automated weather stations will update the farmers with weather conditions time to time. NCP Chief Sharad Pawar, State Revenue Minister Eknath Kharse were also present on this occasion. And the debate over award wapsi and intolerance is heating up. Some renowned actors like Vikram Gokhale and Nasruddin Shah stated that they are not in favor of returning awards. Veteran actor Nasruddin Shah said that he will not give away his awards because they mean nothing to him. While others like Kundan Shah, the maker of iconic film Chane Bhidu Yaro, Said Mirza and Madhushri Datta were among 24 eminent artists, writers and filmmakers who declared they were returning their national awards to protest against the ongoing crisis at the Film and Television Institute of India and the rising intolerance. Similarly noted social activist Anna Hazare reacted on the award wapsi stating that Returning award is not a right option without giving concrete and proper information of rising intolerance. And the member of Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India, Nilesh Shate, said that IRDA would take up with the state gov with the government the issue of 2% income tax deducted at the sources by life insurance after maturity process. They also stressed that the tax has been imposed on insurance policies only and hence IRDA has favoured its removal to bring parity of such plans with other financial instruments. Further, he also added that the insurance sector needs to support of government as the sector has been playing a pivotal role in nation building. Later, he also added that to expand the reach of insurance and to promote financial inclusion, the IRDA would soon come out with a draft exposure on e-commerce portal selling insurance products. Sati was speaking at the CII Financial Distribution Summit in the city. And in order to make Maharashtra a favorite investment destination in the country, Maharashtra's BJP-led NDA government has taken a number of initiatives in the last one year since they have joined office. Ease of doing business and making Maharashtra as manufacturing and service sector hub is the priority of the government. What are the steps taken by the government in the last one year? We'll see in this report. Maharashtra contributes 17% of India's gross domestic product and hosting a population of over 120 million, the second highest in the country and is headed by one of the youngest chief minister in India, Devendra Fadanvis. When Devendra Fadanvis took charge as the chief minister of Maharashtra last year, one of the stated commitments of the government was to ensure a better investment climate and boost the manufacturing sector which has tremendous job creation potential through ease of doing business activities. This would have helped tap into Maharashtra's reputation as one of the better managed state in the country with a strong industrial base and service sector, take demographic pressures away from the agriculture, 
leverage jobs for qualified manpower and above all tap into its demographic dividend. The state government since January 2015 has received 18 FDI proposals from industrial groups from across the globe. This proposed investment worth 59,107 crore has the potential to create 1,23,340 crore jobs. This includes Taiwanese contract manufacturer Foxconn, Coca-Cola, Schindler and Tyson Krupp. It plans to eventually attract investment worth 5 lakh crore which would give employment to 10 lakh people. In a relief to the already stressed farmer in the cotton growing belt of Vidarva, substantial investment has been attracted to the Amravati textile park. The state government has brought down the number of permission required for new industries to 37 from 76 and has committed to lower it to a further 25. In the last one year, Chief Minister Devendra Fadanwis and Industries Minister Subhash Desai have also concluded foreign tours to tap potential investors and have spoken about creating a pro-industry environment. Decisions like increasing the FSI for industries to 1 from 0.2 on agriculture lands and no development zones and steps to cut down on Inspector Raj by a department like Labour have also been hailed as being industry friendly. The state government is also working on sectoral policies for areas like organized retail, electronics and defense manufacturing. Chief Minister Devendra Farnavis also said the government will carry out labor reforms after consultation with all the stakeholders. A committee headed by the state labor commissioner has already been set up in this regard. With these steps, Maharashtra is likely to reclaim its number one position as a favorite investment destination in the country. Bureau Report, DD News, Mumbai. And a painting exhibition titled Ye Hai Mumbai Meri Jaan is on display in the city at Jahangirat Gallery. Eminent artist of Kunk and Shashikant Patari through his paintings highlights the fast proceed life of Mumbai. Mumbai exhibit paintings show the glance of historical monuments, places and the day-to-day -day life of Mumbaikers and city's lifeline railway. Art lovers can take glimpses of this busy city portrait on canvas till 9th of November. And the showroom of Yerda Central Prison wore a festive look ahead of Diwali as it exhibit products made by the inmates. So the exhibition showcasing various beautiful handicrafts include embroidery saris, mobile pouches and candles. The aim of exhibition is to keep the prisoners engaged and enrich them with a skill that they can utilize later for betterment of their life. The unique exhibition is on display till 10th of November which is receiving a great response from the city. That's all we had in this edition of the Metro Scan from Mumbai. We'll be back on Monday evening with some latest update. Till then, goodbye. It's back to you, Rukma.